So when it comes to the issue of accessing water for firefighters to put out the flames, I want you to take a look at this piece of equipment here. This big blue pipe that you see behind me it belongs to Lee County Utilities and the obligation of the county is to provide water up to this point. But when it comes to private communities like Century 21, the county says it's then Century 21's responsibility to be able to provide infrastructure that allows water to get into the park. Now, I own a McGregor Fire District. They said when they showed up to battle the flames, there was no access to water inside the park. And that's why they say they had to lay over 2,000 feet of fire hose to put out the flames. All the hydrants that are located within the park are privately owned hydrants. They are not county maintained hydrants. So as firefighters with the Iona McGregor Fire District battled for nearly two hours to put out this smoke filled fire, their division chief, John Wisdom, said that's why crews had to shut down parts of McGregor Boulevard so they could connect hoses to a county operated source of water. We were made aware of that situation by the property owner before they, they did shut the water off so our crews were not caught off guard. Also for the first time, Chief Wisdom told our crews on scene the mobile home park no longer had any people living inside after Hurricane Ian. And a Florida Power and Light spokesperson says that extensive damage means the park's manager plans to demolish the property. Century 21's website also citing Ian, saying sales and rentals are unavailable until further notice. After working to contact Century 21 to ask if the business had any plans of bringing back homeowners, Gilda Suarez, an employee with Century 21, emailed me back, saying there was no information to provide and company policy means they will, quote, not discuss anything at all to anyone at this time or any other time. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Meanwhile, Chief Wisdom talking with me about the manpower needed for this fire. Our uh, first alarm assignment on a typical structure fire does not involve setting up a water relay. So now we're talking about more resources that got to come in to facilitate that extra move. But says it's not a frustration for the department to respond. Actually give us some repetitions on a not very often used skill with the water relay. Reporting in South Fort Myers, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.